Hey, what's up everyone? PCJ here. Thanks so much for tuning in. Today I have a special package received here from Don't Eat The Gum. And Don't Eat The Gum, if you're not familiar with them, they are a horror company that provides you with all kinds of horror goodies and, and items. Uh, now, they're not your typical subscription box. They're not a subscription box at all. What they do is they sell you a mystery box based on your likes. So how you do this is... Normally, you would send in a list of all your favorite TV shows and movies. Uh, it could be horror-related or other things. They can do all types of things, whether it's cartoons or TV shows, uh, wrestling, movies. I've sent in requests for all kinds of things. And then based on your list, they look at their inventory and they say, you know what, we can put together a $25, a $50, $100 box even, and then they send you the box. Well, they had a specialty available this time, past week, and it was called a What's in the Pack deal. Now what that was is is a mystery pack filled with random items for only $10, so I couldn't pass that up. Now they had 40 of these available, and 5 of the 40 would be randomly selected to be upgraded to a $25 box. So I had a shot at getting a $25 box at the price of only $10. Didn't get the, did not get the uh, box though, unfortunately. So we do have the pack here. This is the what's in the pack here. And you can hear there's some uh, buttons and other things in here. I'm sure there's going to be like some candy or trading cards and other kind of horror stuff. But there was no spoilers. You have no idea what's in these packs. Just random trading cards and, and knickknacks and different uh, you know collectible items. So let's go ahead and open it up. We'll see what they put inside here for only 10 bucks. Can't go wrong. I mean, you're going to get some cool stuff. If you haven't seen my other horror boxes from uh, Don't Eat the Gum, I've had all kinds of cool stuff from posters um, pens, magnets, trading card set, all just all sorts of, of cool stuff. So let me cut open here without hopefully damaging anything. And let's see here. Kind of hard to see in there, but yeah, yeah, there's something cardboard right here. Let's see. Now usually they put a little note inside their uh, boxes. I'm not sure if they're gonna have that in here. So let me pull everything out. Okay, so envelopes empty. Got a stack of items here. So let's see, we got first off, we have a trick or treat button. We have Sam there with a little pumpkin there. Okay, a little button. Next I've got a little, uh, looks like a Frankenstein, or no, this one's more like a zombie. Kinda looks like Frankenstein monster, but it's a zombie character. Okay, a little uh, thumb wrestler kind of thing, right? Yeah. I would say you could put it on a pencil, but no, yeah, a little wide for that. But. All right, got a little creature there. And they sometimes provide little uh, promo items. And by the way, if you have like your own business or your own YouTube channel or anything like that, and you wanna advertise your channel or your business, whatever, uh, reach out to them because you can send them in like uh, promo cards and they'll put them in their boxes to send out to their customers, help get your name out there. So we got a horrormerch.com uh, pamphlet or flyer here. So we can order like masks and such and shirts and other things, okay. So I got some promo items. Amazon hot box, everyone dies, some die slow. It looks like a little bumper sticker almost. All right, have no idea what that's to. Uh, let's see, oh, we got something stuck here. Uh-oh. Well, uh, ah, okay. Uh, so let's see, caught dead watching uh, looks like a little, uh, just another flyer, okay. Uh, it's a podcast, okay, Caught Dead Watching. Okay, I listen to a lot of podcasts, I'll have to check that one out. Alright, so, so far we got mostly advertising stuff. Let's see, we got a, uh, oh, this is kind of cool, well, unfortunately the sticker got a little messed up, it got stuck on the cardboard there, but I uh, got some uh, maracas and a skull with a hat, okay. I'll have to stick that somewhere quickly. Uh, let's see, we got a, oh, that's pretty cool. Check that out. That is a really cool uh, sticker. I like that. Alright. Let's see, we got some kind of cardboard thing here. I sell the dead. Is this actual... What is this too? Okay. I don't know if this is just like a cardboard backing or something. Or maybe it's supposed to be a little mini poster. Uh, movie called I Sell the Dead. Okay, not sure. Uh, so we got, uh, all right, we got a trading card of some sort, face cards, uh, featuring the art by Byron Witten, and I don't know, oh, is there a couple things in here? No, okay. There's just the uh, card advertising the uh, artist, 
And then on the other side, that's the actual artwork. Looks cool. I'm not sure if that's from a uh, show or movie, but it looks nice. Okay. Uh, we got a trading card of... Oh, we got Tales from the Crypt. We got the uh, Crypt Keeper there. Let's see if we can get a zoom in there better. There we go. Uh, I've just swept a double header. Ha <laughs> ha. He's sweeping up a couple of skulls there, it looks like. And then... Uh, oh, there's something... Hang on. There's something on the back here. Let's see what this is. I don't know if it's part of the card or another card in here. Oh, it's a magnet. Okay, I thought it was a like a hologram thing or something, but oh, okay, it's a magnet, so I can stick this on uh, the refrigerator or somewhere. Uh, that's cool. Okay, I like when they do that. All right, got some trading card packs. Aha, we got Toxic Crusaders, eight cards and one hologram sticker. Love, I love retro trading cards. Uh, we got Tales from the Crypt trading cards, eight cards per pack. Look for randomly packed holograms and tech card or tech chrome card. Okay, and lastly, we got a pack of awesome all stars, five full color stickers, and bubble gum. Don't eat the gum, remember? Okay, because this is original from what 19. Uh, there's no dates on here, but you know, this is from like the you know mid 80s or, or, or throughout the 90s. The Tales from the Crypt cards, those are from 19. Uh, there you go, 1993. And then Toxic Crusader, and these are like on the animated show, not the uh, you know live-action movie. Uh, but these are from, wow, there you go, 1991. Awesome. Okay, so we got trading cards. We got another button. Oh, excellent! Got Halloween poster button there. All right, cool. And lastly, we have a. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, this is worth the price right here. Okay. This is worth the price alone. Now, you all have seen my enamel pin collection, and this is going right in there. Look at this. Ghastly Commodities. Look at this Jason Voorhees pin. Is that freaking awesome or what? All right, it's a double stud one there. And there's the uh, Instagram link. So you can follow whoever created this. That looks good. That's a really good pin. I love, love where these enamel pens have gone, okay? I, when I worked at a, a movie theater in my, in my teen years, we just had the flat movie buttons and that was it. But over the last like five years now, really, I've seen a lot more uh, detail and work put into the you know pens. And it would be awesome if they, I don't even know, do they still have movie pens at you know theaters? You know, anyone out there working at a movie theater nowadays, uh, do they still have that? I would imagine this would be an awesome uh, change is to have movie pens of just the characters from a movie or something like that instead of just the flat buttons it would be cool all right excellent okay pretty pretty nice set so we got a uh, little frankenstein zombie looking monster guy got a couple of buttons there uh, a couple of stickers we got two trading cards one with a magnet on the back there the other one's just a little artwork one we got three packs of trading cards we got an awesome jason Voorhees enamel pen that's my favorite item out of this pack easily and then we had some other promotional stuff, which like I said, if you haven't checked out Don't Eat the Gum, and maybe if you have your own business or anything, you want to get some uh, publicity, send them like a stack of your promo cards or anything like that, and you can have them put them in their uh, packs, and then later on, you know, people will hopefully tune in to check out your uh, business or whatever you're trying to promote. Excellent. All right. Well, thank, thank you so much, uh, Don't Eat the Gum. Uh, like I said before, this was a specialty uh, $10 pack. Uh, it was only 10 bucks, so I think I definitely got my money's worth in the uh, trading cards and the enamel pen alone the enamel pen alone come on i would have paid 10 bucks for this if i saw it in stores so that that right there is already worth the money and then i think i paid or i think the shipping was like almost four dollars so i mean i really paid only like six dollars for everything here but you know the shipping and everything but whatever uh i love it i think it's awesome and remember don't eat the gum go to their website i'll have the link below in the description of the video if you didn't want to get one of these packs but you want them to customize a box and you know do your own unboxing or whatever go to their uh, website and purchase one of their boxes send them a big list send them as much information as you can uh, sharing all the kinds of cool crazy things you're into from whatever kind of horror movies or toys or TV shows anything and again doesn't have to always just be horror it can be anything and they can find a way to make an awesome mystery box for you to open up whether it's for yourself or for a gift so highly recommend you check out donate the gum especially since we're coming upon the season of Halloween. Perfect time for that. 
Well, everyone, thanks as always for watching. If you haven't done so yet, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Check me out on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Links are below in the description of the video, along with my P.O. Box. In case you ever want to send me anything to unbox, or you want to do a box trade, I'm always up for that. Well, guys, gals, have a great day. I'll see you next time. This is PCJ, the Pop Culture Junkie, and I'm signing out.